Happy birthday, Vintage Church. I'm so excited to celebrate with you today our ninth birthday. We've been on one incredible ride. When I think about the Bible study that we started in me and my wife's living room in 2008, all the way to today, I think about two important things. I think about God's faithfulness, and I also think about the faithfulness of our church family, the people of Vintage Church. Um, you know, I'm standing right now in a building that's a story of God's incredible grace in our life. Um, Highland Baptist Church was generous and partnered with us and we became one church family and today we're seeing people changed by Jesus in this place. I think about the 13 different locations that we've met for worship over the last nine years and how God kept us moving. We were a cool church if you could find us. And, and I think about all the stories of sending out church planners. And um, listen, God's done an amazing work. In fact, anytime we've tried to plan anything, listen, God showed us and he's proven to us that he's in the business of working despite us. Um, the gospel is not what we do for him. It's about what Christ does for us. And that's the story of Vintage. Listen, this past spring, I, I led our church through a series called Welcome Home. We looked at Paul's letters to the different churches that he planted. And he writes to one church in Galatia, and he um, just encourages them about how they care for one another. He says, thank you for caring one another. Thank you for sharing one another. Thank you for encouraging one another. Thank you also for looking for another. Vintage Church, who knows what God has for us in the next decade of ministry, the next nine years of ministry. But if we would hold on to God's grace together, we would remain faithful to God. And as God's people, remain faithful to each other to do these things, existing for gospel proclamation and transformation and multiplication. I truly believe the best is yet to come.